Welcome to another episode of Sessions at Overt. I'm your host, Greg Adela. My guests today are Kat Downs and Mike Thompson, and they make up the San Francisco-based duo Sit Kitty Sit. Sit Kitty Sit was formed in 2010 and performs a unique style of music that they like to call classical rock. Their music has been described as the Dresden Dolls mixed with King Crimson and Fiona Apple. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so it much is for our having pleasure. us. Uh, we got to get right into it because uh, I'm, I, you know, I've been studying you for the past few weeks. I love San Francisco Bay music. One of my favorites actually is Primus. So just like oh, listening great. today and just you know hearing you guys really pound on the drums, <laughs> I want to know because you both have musical backgrounds. Mm -hmm. How did this come together? How did the duo? Oh, we met through a mutual friend, and okay. I was working on a like a weird solo concept record at the time, and I wanted to mix Rachmaninoff with thrash metal drumming. And the drummer I had lined up actually canceled on me, and our mutual friend happened to call me right around the same time that my friend had canceled on me, and I was you know super mad. I'm like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like I was like mad, and he's like, well, why don't you ask Mike to do it? And I was like, do you think he would? Does he play double bass? He goes, yeah. And that's how it came about. Yeah. This was, so just like that. This was yeah. after she had already come in and recorded some tracks on the previous on the band at the time that I was working with. Okay. So yeah. she was friends with the singer and we were doing an album uh, and we needed some keyboards on a track. So he called her, she came in, laid some stuff down for us free one day, hung mm -hmm. out. And that's how we actually I think we met, met that yeah, day met actually. Day we met, and yeah. uh, and then, you know, this was a couple months down the line after that that yeah. you called me. And I was like, Yeah, you came in, recorded for me all I'll return the favor, you know, nice. for sure. Yeah. She's like, it's just one song. I just want it to be some heavy drums. I'm like, I can do that. Yeah. No, it's great. Well, that's good because mm -hmm. that's what I was going <clears> to <throat> allude to is that you, you really guys pound. I mean, I, I'm so excited for, for the, the world and, and our viewers to see you guys in action. Thank you. Thank what you. What are your influences? Kat, what are your influences? Let's start with Kat. Ladies, we oh, have the rest man. of the night on the list. <laughs> uh, well, uh, <laughs> yeah. well, go ahead because I, I know that people recognize you and compare you to other fine, very fine artists yeah, in, they did. In, in the industry. Yeah, they did. Uh, which is very, very flattering. A lot of times, though, um, like for instance, we had already been working together for a handful of months before the, the guitar player in my other band, I went into rehearsal one day and I was just gushing about like, you know, we've been working together and this has been so fun. And he said, oh, like the Dresden Dolls. And I was like, who? Like I had never, I didn't know them yet. Now, of course, I know them and love them, but yeah, I, I hadn't even heard of them, you know, before we started yeah, no, doing me this. Either, until but I no, I now. mean, man, when I grew up, um, I, I, went, I, I went classical training all the way through college. What me, what do you guys think how it, it, you made it work, like to form the gel and you saw it right together. It always intrigues me. Is, is, is it drinking? <laughs> <laughs> is that, well, it, well, is it, 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 to be honest, no, well, there, the, the whiskey know, does help us a lot. No. Um, <laughs> no, actually, the weird part is, is that Mike and I are actually insanely similar people. Cool. Like, if I, I actually wanted to be a drummer and my parents wouldn't let me. But if I was a drummer, mm -hmm. like, so I'm a flautist. Who knew? But you're in the right. same family. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Were, you know, so like, you know, I, mean, I was already playing piano, yeah. and then you know, you get the fourth grade band lessons, and they're like, pick an instrument. And I said drums, and they were like, hell no, <laughs> pick something else. So, but if I was a drummer, I would play like Mike. Yeah. And if Mike was a piano player, he would play like me. Yes. And we're I could both. See that. Yeah. I could see that. And we're both just yeah. It's one of those random things where the first song we played together, we kind of looked at each other, we're like. Wait a minute. Should probably. We should. We should experiment this. with this and yeah, see what nah, happens. That was a lot of fun and. Sounded pretty rocking. Mm -hmm. so. Well, you know, we were talking a little bit before that tour and, and on the road is, is it's arduous and, and uh, you know everyone gets homesick and but but it's so great because you can't compare it to anything mm -hmm. uh, until you actually do it. Um, That's true, <laughs> for sure. What, what really, when you're out there, is um, it, is inspiring you and, and what do you find some nice pockets of humanity out there in the country? If you can answer, I mean, oh, it could yeah. be a bunch. No, you know, I mean. But, no, I get, I get what you're saying. Like, honestly, for me, the, the kind of the luck of the draw, I'm a road trip junkie. Like, yeah. I, I have been a road trip junkie since I was, like, a small child. I think it's my parents never wanted to fly anywhere, so we just drove, drove, sure. drove. So there's this amazing stretch of freeway right outside of Salt Lake City that's perfectly straight with the salt flats on one side uh -huh. and mountains mm -hmm. on the other, and it's a complete straight line until it melts into the horizon. And the last time we were coming out of Salt Lake... I've, I've had, driven out of that. Yeah, and, and I've had the radio crank, oh, yeah. I had a full cup of coffee, a full tank of gas, mm -hmm. and I was like, happy yeah. place. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just, like that in itself. It's yeah, just, right. you know, you got some good tunes cranking, and it's just, yeah, just let's see where the road goes, let's see what, what we find out. But the cool part about, there's something about, like, this particular <laughs> like, darn duo. Mormons again. I know, come <laughs> no. on. But yeah, um, there's something about the energy that we create on stage yeah. that makes 
which I just, I love, love, love because it makes our tribe come to us. Mm. Like, I don't have to look for my tribe. I don't have to look for my people because yeah. they'll actually naturally drift to us. And like, even just the other night, like, you know, Mike hung out the window and was like, hey, where's there a place to get pizza at like, you know, 1.30 in the morning. This girl hops in the car with us, becomes our new best friend for like two hours. We had the best time. And like, wow. that stuff happens every day. Every day when we're on the road, it's something like that. Every single time, we'll meet these, we meet the most amazing people. We build, we build the most amazing friendships. It's it's been unlike any other tour I've ever gone on. It's good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. And 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 seriously, thanks for stopping by. Cat down. Thank you, Mike Thompson. Sit kitty sit. Go visit them. Sitkittysit.com. You're in for a real treat. Thank you guys so much. And safe travels yeah. to waste Thank the rest you. of your Thank tour. You, very you know. Much. It's, uh, and we hope to see you back here again in yeah, Albany. Definitely. Thank you. Sooner yeah, than absolutely. later. Definitely, definitely. So there it is. Another session's over it. We'll see you next right. time. I'm your host, Greg Adela.